We're back with more universe sandbox suggestions that you guys gave me. Once again, put them down in the comments below of this video or join my Discord server and put them on there. Today, we're starting by moving the Earth closer to the sun and then making the sun blow up. So here is Earth. Um, our home. Everyone lives here, even you. Yes, you. So we're going to start by moving the earth closer to the sun. Uh, let's grab it and move it. I don't know, right here. How close is too close? Like right here. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty close. And then we got to make sure it's in orbit still. We don't want it to just be sucked into the sun. We want the explosion to kill the to kill the Earth. Okay, so there it is in orbit. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. Well, just being this close in orbit is already starting to burn up the Earth. But before the Earth is completely destroyed, let's explode the sun. So we're going to put it in real time. So everything that happens in the game is the same speed that it would happen in real life. We're going to go to tools, explode, and just click on the sun. So you can see the sun started to supernova and if we play time okay this is a real-time supernova so we're gonna be over here by the earth and we can see the supernova coming towards us okay i'm gonna make it go a little bit faster this is about 10 times faster than real time and does the earth survive this or does it completely get destroyed so tons of heat and radiation are going to be coming out of this supernova you can see it's starting to it's starting to get the earth here okay so the earth let's is its temperature going up yeah you can see the temperature rapidly rising it's at over 1600 degrees celsius uh let's see if the earth will survive this we'll speed it up a little more okay it's getting even hotter you can see the side that was facing the supernova is like molten. 7,000 degrees. Oh, okay. So it's getting so hot that it's starting to shrink because all the matter is just like melting away off the earth. And I think this might be the end for our earth. All of its matter is getting shot out by the immense forces of the supernova. And there it goes. The entire earth is gone. And let's see what happens to the rest of the solar system really quick. Speeding up time. Venus gets destroyed and Mars. And now we're left with Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Let's see if they can survive this. Looks like, oh, Neptune didn't. Okay, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Pluto are the only ones to survive the supernova. Crazy. Okay, we're back with a fresh solar system. Okay, and our next suggestion is to add an asteroid belt between Earth and Venus and make it go crazy, whatever that means. We'll have to figure that one out. Okay, between Earth and Venus. So like right here. Okay, so to add an asteroid belt between those two, we're gonna have to go, um, in Universe Sandbox, they count it as a ring. So we can go and add asteroid belt, but then if we change the settings of the asteroid belt, Okay, so uh, we'll set our inner radius to 0.7 AU because that's how far Venus is from the sun. And then we set our outer radius to 1 AU, which is how far Earth is from the sun. Set our particles up here. So this should make an asteroid belt that is perfectly between Venus and Earth. And if we put this on here, yes, you can see it worked. And it's a little bit tilted actually, but that should be okay. So you can see that it starts right where Venus's orbit is and it ends right where Earth's orbit is. So let's go to Earth and see, okay, wait, it looks like it's flattening. Oh, whoa, okay, so it looks like stuff is happening to it. So this might be the crazy they were talking about even though I didn't do anything. Look, it like shrinks, so now it's like flat right here. And then it, okay, look, see all the particles? Where are they going? Um, so there is the asteroid belt. Okay, our next suggestion says, put a lot of rings around the Earth and then throw meteors at it. Okay, so we're gonna need Earth to have a lot of rings, whatever that means. We're gonna add Saturn style rings to it. They won't be the same size as Saturn because Saturn's rings are very big. Okay, there's Saturn style rings on Earth. I actually want them to be in more, so we'll bring it in. There we go. Okay, so now it has like a fully completed ring. So now we have the issue of we have so many particles in the game that it's hard for the game to run it all smoothly, um, which is not going to be helped by what we're about to do by throwing a bunch of asteroids at Earth. Okay, I want to like line it up with the rings like this and just like start throwing some asteroids at the earth okay we need something big too like let's throw the moon at earth okay here we go we'll see what happens with all these these are on their way with our almost zero frame rate and we'll see how the earth survives yes okay so some of the asteroids oh the moon got hit by one of the asteroids i threw earlier so now it's like a flaming hot moon and here the moon comes okay we're gonna we're gonna want to slow down time here oh there was the collision Okay, let's see how Earth's rings get affected by this. Oh, you could see like a trail where it kind of cut through. You can see it right here where it disrupted the rings because of the giant moon flying through. 
Okay, let's see how the rings, um, if they survive this. So it looks like, yeah, look, a lot of them are getting thrown out of orbit because they're not designed for that. Now it looks like a, a whirlpool almost. It kind of looks cooler. Okay, I want an even bigger disruption to these rings. Let's throw five moons at the Earth. We're gonna, we're gonna make them all go at the same time and we'll see how this affects the Earth and its rings. Okay, I think I'm at more than five now, but it, we're still gonna do it and go okay here a bunch of moons come uh let's see how this affects everything oh oh it's slowing down itself because there's so many particles and things happening two of the moons collided there goes one into the earth there goes three more four oh and all of the rings look they all get launched away what is happening whoa where did all the all the particles get like <laughs> pulled away by these moons, it looks like. And this is still the fastest I can run it. Watch, as soon as I clear all the particles, the game will go like super fast. Clearing, unless it crashes the game. Oh, yep, see, and it goes super fast. Okay, make a cow the star of a solar system. So let's take our sun and replace it with a cow that is the same size and see if the solar system stays good. So replace object and we're gonna go spherical cow. Okay, and while it's paused, because this has the same mass as a cow, not the sun, we're gonna have to go to mass and type one sun. Okay, so the cow is less dense than a star, but while it's paused, I'll show you. Here is the sun in comparison to our cow. Now, the cow is less dense, so even though the cow is bigger, the mass is still the same as the sun. So let's see, if this works right, everything should stay in orbit. Okay, well, the Earth is kind of out of orbit because of all the collisions it had, but you can see everything else is fine. The solar system is fine. The only problem now is that there is no energy coming from a star, so everything's gonna freeze or not have like there will be no life in this system anymore. But yes, a spherical cow will work. If we could somehow get a spherical cow this big, we could replace the sun. Okay, our next suggestion is give the earth a small earth as a moon. Okay, so we have our, really our, well, I don't even know what this, what this earth is. What happened to our earth is it had multiple collisions, but then the spherical cow, okay, we're, we're making, we're bringing the sun back. We need the sun for life, man. Okay, and then if we, okay, so here is our earth. Um, it's been through a lot already. You can tell just by looking at it. Let's melt the water. And so we don't have just a ton of ice. Okay, well, it doesn't even look like it has any water on it but that's okay uh we will give it a small earth as a friend earth okay while it's paused we'll put earth in orbit right here but then we got to make this earth like one tenth the mass 0.1 and that should really help it be in orbit but before we press play let's make sure this looks exactly as it should so it looks like our atmosphere is a little too thick so let's turn that down and what happened with our water it looks like we need a tiny bit more yeah Okay, maybe the atmosphere a little bit thicker. Perfect, okay. So there is Little Earth now. What's our life chance on Little Earth? 70.2, so life probably still would exist on here, but what's our chance on this big one? Because this big one's been through a lot. Zero, okay, so Earth, this Earth has no life, and now the Little Earth is the only one with life. So maybe these uh, small people can one day get advanced enough to colonize the big Earth uh, where, I guess where they came from? I don't even know. I don't know the lore of it. If you guys have more suggestions, once again, put them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.